I love the movie Inside Out. One of the reasons that I love the movie Inside Out so much is because for the first time we now have a way of talking to kids about their emotions. The movie Inside Out depicts five core emotions, joy, anger, sadness, fear, and disgust. And the way that it does it, it brings these emotions to life for kids and it really shows them how their brain works. After I'd seen the movie, I ran out and bought some toys that represented the emotions from the film because I thought that this was definitely going to be a way that I could bring some of these emotions and the discussion of the emotions um, to my clients in an accessible way. So usually I have these out on the counter in my office and what I find is that kids gravitate to them right away. So one of the things that I often ask kids to do is to tell me, who do you think is most in charge of your headquarters most of the time? And although you might think that kids are gonna probably choose joy, what I find is that kids are pretty honest and they're pretty authentic and they're able to really reflect on the types of emotions that show up on a regular basis. Often they identify anger as someone that's constantly showing up and trying to boss them around. Other kids who maybe suffer more from anxiety definitely identify with fear. They feel that fear is showing up quite a bit and that fear is often getting in the way of them trying new things. The other key emotion that kids really seem to like from the movie but often find more difficult to talk about in real life is sadness. And sadness is one that I think the movie did a really good job at depicting because it made it something that wasn't so scary to talk about. It made sadness somebody that really connected people together and it really brought home sort of the depth of that emotion for a lot of children. It's also really important for parents to recognize how important all of these emotions are to a child's experience. So we don't wanna minimize the negative ones. We wanna make sure that kids recognize that these are okay, these are normal, and that we can learn to cope with them no matter how hard they feel. So one of the things that I always recommend is to try to be able to sit in the mud with these emotions, not try to pull kids out of them too quickly, Maybe we want to help them with them and support them when they're experiencing them, but we don't want to act like they don't exist and that we need to be happy all the time.